Uh, again, here, as you know, immediately because the United States and uh, certain other countries, they don't want uh, the U UN efforts and our government efforts uh, uh, to have success. They immediately start to speak uh, other allegations uh, like uh, 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 they have evidence. I don't know where is uh, this evidence till now. It, it is not presented. Uh, about using uh, chemical weapons against uh, our uh, people um, uh, from our government. We accept after a long discussion because we, for us, we need a credible information, but we have no credible information. Uh, and we know exactly the US, Britain, uh, France at that time want to uh, uh, only complicate uh, the, the government efforts. And this is the reason why they start to speak about uh, uh, other allegations. We agreed. Uh, at the end to uh, to let uh, these uh, UN experts uh, on uh, disarmament to come inside Syria and to investigate on Khan uh, al-Asal in addition to uh, uh, two other places. When they are when they arrived on 19 of uh, August, immediately on 21st, and they have access. Our government work hardly and cooperate in order to uh, clarify the truth. Uh, uh, as, and you know, especially at the the uh, the, uh, the last three f uh, months, the our military forces, our people, is, uh, really work hard and stand uh, strongly beside our uh, government, and um, we achieve a lot of progress in order uh, to get rid of these uh, terrorist groups, which are supported, unfortunately, from uh, U.S. and uh, its alliances, especially in our uh, area. I mean. Uh, like Saudi Arabia, like Turkey, like uh, Qatar. And uh, so we, uh, uh, while we are achieving such a progress, they and the United Nations also were inside our country. We heard and, uh, immediately that uh, after two days only, 21st of August, they uh, spoke about using uh, chemical weapons in Al Ghuta um, by the government. And of course, this is false information. It is unacceptable. My government did never use chemical weapon and will never use it against its people uh, freely on it. So, but you know, they want any anything hinder the 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 our government efforts, and this is the reason. Immediately, as you notice, there is a political as well as a media campaign speaking about the government. We are they are still inside of my, my country. The investigators, however, they don't want to to wait. Immediately, they start to uh, complicate the situation, accelerate uh, the time in order to uh, to receive the support to do a military act, act against uh, my government. Because they know exactly the, uh, the terrorist groups who use this chemical weapon, and they know exactly that the, the United States and other uh, uh, supporting uh, countries who are giving this uh, armed terrorist group the full support in order uh, to, uh, to do such act against our people. They don't want this truth to be clarified, and this is the reason why they uh, immediately uh, try to put pressure on our government and also uh, uh, the international community to, to do such military actions. The, United, the uh, Secretary General immediately asked the UN expert group in order to go back to, uh, to uh, clarify uh, the result, the outcome, uh, to see, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, to look at this situation and to present it to the Security Council in order to study it, uh, as well as to see the appropriate uh, uh, action should be dealt with uh, uh, Syria case. Of course, as you know, it is 
I, I also want to say that about uh, uh, Russia, because always uh, people think that uh, Russia is uh, uh, always uh, on the side of the Syrian government, and there is no possibility to improve or to do something. And this is the allegation of United States, uh, the United States, in order to do uh, certain uh, uh, military actions. As I mentioned, uh, and I, as I spoke and clarify the, this concept, the, the, uh, the responsibility to protect in addition to other uh, concepts, later on maybe we have the time to speak about them, but Russia and China, they are very keen not only to stand uh, uh, beside Syria because they have good relationship with Syria, no, but this is very dangerous very dangerous if you really want to violate the UN principles and, and uh, replace these important principles with the uh, responsibility to protect, for example, principles, which is, as I mentioned, not yet agreed, and also it has so many uh, failures. This is why uh, Russia always uh, uh, want to have a concrete evidence before and also want to, uh, to, to follow actions in line with the United Nations and uh, the, uh, uh, the principles and purposes of its uh, charter and the international law. Anyway, this is the case actually and uh, I uh, really um, want to listen to your uh, to your questions and uh, and also I want to say before that um, for the Japan's government we have a very uh, uh, long history in addition to political uh, relations as you know we have uh, like uh, the uh, the economic and cultural uh, relations. So it is really, um, we know that they have, the, the Japans have very strong uh, relations uh, with the United Sta uh, States. And we uh, really wish that Japans to put pressure on uh, the United States in order to uh, to follow the the uh, what we already agreed at the United Nations in line with the principles and pur and purposes of the UN charters in addition to its good relations with the uh, USA the Japan's government uh, uh, fund the United Nations. It is the, uh, the main uh, uh, country who fund the, the biggest fund to the United Nations come from Japan. So Japan should really work hard in order to keep these uh, principles, important principles, and to, to defend any attempts, uh, try to, uh, to defeat these principles. And this is why we really uh, look uh, to have uh, a big role uh, from uh, Japan. Uh, as I mentioned, because also Japan's uh, um, a peaceful na uh, country, and uh, uh, and it has also um, uh, a long history working in our area, uh, peace building uh, activities, and and they have also uh, nominated a person since a long time um, to follow the peace process. So they have a very. A, a good history in dealing uh, with uh, uh, such a critical situation in a peace manner. What we want um, from Japan as well as from the journalist, I really beg you, I know that you have very, very important role. Uh, as you know, it is your role to do with uh, this critical situation in an uh, uh, unbiased manner, to clarify the situation. It is not only for Syria, believe me, I am speaking because I know exactly what I am saying. It is for the whole international community. You should be careful 
about the consequences of such military actions. It is not only against Syria, it is against uh, our region, it is against our world. You are, as such, giving the full support and the, ha the strong hand to the uh, uh, terrorist groups, to the Qaeda, to the uh, Jihad, Jabhat uh, al-Nasra. Uh, you know, you, you are, we have agreed already at United Nations to fight terrorists, to have a collective actions and to fight terrorists. And this is the reason why I want to say, if you really follow, we want, we want to clarify the situation. We want to hold uh, uh, these uh, actors accountable. Whoever use these chemical weapons uh, to be accountable, but you should not follow United States. The United States only want to, to say the government because they don't want the government. They want only uh, the, the, the Syrian government uh, to, to uh, fall. This is what they want. This is the reason they, uh, they, they are saying there is a chemical weapon and the government, uh, uh, the one who use it against its people. We the government of Syria who request from the United Nations to come and investigate on this chemical, uh, on the usage of chemical weapon inside Syria. This is not new. We know that there is a, a, a usage of chemical weapon inside Syria. But we want you to, to, to think, to clarify the situation and to see these uh, uh, terrorist groups, what they are doing inside Syria with the support of United States and its alliances in our region. You should, you should ask to hold these uh, terrorist groups and their supporters uh, accountable. And uh, this is uh, really what I wish uh, from the Japan uh, government as well as uh, from uh, you as uh, a, jour a journalist uh, to, to clarify situation or to try to avoid uh, of uh, uh, having such uh, a crisis or uh, trophy <laughs> later on. So uh, forgive me for uh, speaking a long time, but uh, really it was uh, to consider this uh, situation to avoid uh, its uh, critical consequences. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Halabi. Who wants to ask the first question? Yes, identify yourself. Uh, my name is Hiroik Fujita, and I'm in Kokumin Shimbun, uh, right-wing newspaper. Uh, I'm sure the United States will present uh, CIA intelligence information mm -hmm. that Syrian government mm -hmm. actually caused the incident. Do you have any counter information or counter intelligence to prove that they are the uh, it was caused by mm -hmm. terrorist group? Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much. Uh, to be honest, why I uh, did not speak about uh, this report, because I, I am full confidence it is a really uh, false uh, report and it, is, uh, uh, um, it has only allegations. There is no uh, really true evidence. For example, I want to say also that those who are uh, uh, accusing our government should present this, uh, ev uh, this uh, evidence. Where is the evidence? What did they mention on this uh, report? They, sh uh, they said, we have an information about uh, um, uh, using chemical weapon by the government from, um, but it is not uh, uh, concrete ev uh, evidence. We still need to, to seek more information. So what does it mean? That means their information 
from YouTube or from uh, from media or from what uh, these terrorist groups uh, writing on the uh, the internet um, on uh, many uh, site of the internet is it really this worth to to do such a military uh, action against uh, a sovereign state against other country while they do have not evidence their report really very similar to the uh, the iraqi report before they invade the, the iraq you know it is like Okay, only they want to say that they have information about uh, using or having a, a nuclear weapon, and we want uh, to to have the support in order to attack it. But at the end, what what happened? We have uh, uh, more than one million and a half uh, uh, dead men right now from Iraq as a result of such act. We have uh, really uh, destroyed the whole country. And then they said, um, uh, in fact, we have no evidence. What else? They are speaking about um, uh, a certain uh, conversation by phone, by who said that this is wrong. We, ne we don't have chemical weapon. And th so th for this reason, they should say it is uh, something uh, concrete this man or that man or uh, to put more uh, 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 to present more evidence about their speech can you can you uh, support us while they are uh, saying only we listen to uh, certain conversation uh, uh, clearing or clarifying uh, they, uh, they use the chemical weapon whoever uh, uh, past the street or working in any field can speak about this. It is really not a concrete evidence. Do you think uh, Russia, such a, a, a very strong country, or China, or any other countries also, or what about Britain? You know the, the position of Britain. Are Britain uh, biased to the side of Syria? No. But because they are not uh, uh, convinced of these uh, allegations presented by the, uh, the USA, because also they, they know they face the same difficulties when they uh, also have uh, this problem with uh, Iraq. Uh, and this is why th this should be presented really the, the report before we speak about the report or start to analyze this report. It is, it is really not concrete at all. For us, we have nothing from this report. It is only a way to, uh, to gather the support of international community and to proceed. But, but uh, it is good now the international community after Iraq, after Libya, after uh, so many uh, 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 incidents noticed that it is not enough only to present, to say, to, to say that our intelligence people uh, uh, find uh, this. So uh, this is actually what I want to say. Thank you. Madam. Hello, uh, Isabel Reynolds from Bloomberg. Um, you've made clear that obviously you don't want to see military action in Syria, but the country is in chaos. W what kind of plan could you present mm -hmm. to return to stability mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And would it make any difference if your president mm -hmm. resigned? Mm -hmm. I want to say that uh, it is not only the request of Syria. You know, we want to have a political solution. And this is uh, most of the countries looking at having political uh, uh, solution. What I want to say uh, also uh, for this, like U.S. and other uh, uh, alliance, uh, its alliances to stop funding these terrorist acts, to stop uh, uh, giving their full support, to really uh, uh, consider the consequences. So 
I would say, okay, we are ready because we said we want to have such dialogue in order to, to reach a, a political solution. Uh, with regard to uh, the, uh, uh, our, uh, gov our president, this is really, it is not uh, like we are, as uh, the Syrian people, we decide to stand uh, by his side because we know 100% what he is doing. He protects us while most of the international community or the most powerful uh, of the international community against us because we know that exactly we are standing beside him and we are really want to solve this problem and to uh, uh, continue uh, this, uh, the, the international efforts uh, looking for a political solution uh, with the leadership of our president. It, it, it is not depends on me uh, even. It, it is depends on, uh, of the willingness of our people. And we have, in 2015, we have elections, and uh, after and during that election, we will see the, the result. Please. Next question. Madam, are you a journalist? Yes, I am. Please. And then... My friend. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah Yamasaki, Yamasaki Journal. Uh, you seem to be expect any uh, diplomatic efforts from Japanese uh, government to pressure to the United States. But unfortunately, it seems to be more a night before uh, when they opened the Iraqi war. So Japan full supported the United States policy when they opened the war, or Iraqi war and Afghanistan war mm -hmm. as well, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, not only China and the uh, Russian Federation, but also other European community, except uh, French and uh, British government, but the rest of the world, is, uh, especially uh, Italy or South Africa, this morning the report was, uh, uh, there, there was a report that they strongly oppose unless the United Nations Security Council approve the, the invasion or, or attack to the Syrian uh, uh, soil, that they strongly oppose opening the war. Mm -hmm. So what would you think? Do you have any realistic strategy, strategic uh, policy, uh, try to press a Japanese government when Abe, Prime Minister Abe returns from Rio de Janeiro? Uh, right before he departed to uh, Brazil this morning uh, at the, the G20, he mm -hmm. expre expressed to the Obama when they had a brief meeting that we still continue to support your policy, which means attacking Syria soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, would, you, uh, would you tell us you have any policy or a strategic mm -hmm. policy mm -hmm. against the Japanese government? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I am following uh, the Japanese newspaper and uh, uh, the, the government of the uh, Japan. I noticed they are uh, also even, they understand uh, uh, these, uh, the U.S. situation. They want to cooperate with the uh, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, also uh, uh, efforts and to continue to work closely to have more information. However, it is also... Um, um, it is very uh, uh, noticed that they want uh, to, in case they decide to, ha to have a military action, to have such uh, actions after they, the Security Council approve that. So it was clear uh, like this. Even um, I noticed from Abe um, uh, some uh, words, it is like uh, um, he is... Uh, supporting the uh, the US but he did not say we will uh, also do military actions or engage in military actions I actually met uh, uh, so many important people uh, from the parliament from uh, parties uh, rural parties and other parties and uh, um, uh, most of them 
I don't want to say that, but they understand the situation and they prefer uh, to deal with this uh, situation um, in line with the United Nations uh, principles. So this is why they seek uh, uh, also to have uh, uh, such uh, approval from the Security Council before uh, dealing uh, uh, or doing uh, such um, uh, military actions. Thank you. Yosh, please. Yosh Hota, freelance. Thank you for coming to the club today. Thank you. Uh, I'm still puzzled. And I think the real crisis here we face is the future of civilization. Uh, because the words are losing the meaning. The US and the French government concluded that the Syrian government used the chemical weapons, but you totally denied today. Again, can you swear to God the Syrian government never used the chemical weapons? Another question. It is true that you have a stockpile of chemical weapons from Russia in your country? Uh, thank you. Uh, in no way and in no means we, our government can use uh, chemical weapon against uh, its people. Our president, very re responsible man, he is really doing uh, hard. I know even I, uh, when I met uh, um, some of the uh, uh, government people, they told me who knows him, uh, they are uh, really uh, very happy to meet him and uh, they noticed how he is distinguished uh, among uh, uh, other presidents in our uh, countries, in our uh, region, I mean. So um, I, I, I can't say uh, more than this because we will never use it the chemical weapon. I'm full confidence. I can swear by God our government uh, did not use the chemical weapon and will never use the chemical weapon against its people. And you didn't receive chemical weapons from Russia, he was asking. No way. This is against, you know. This is uh, against... Uh, uh, here, even, it is uh, not... Uh, uh, the time to say that, or it is uh, not the forum to, to, to speak about uh, having chemical weapon or not, but, but we, it is against, you know. We are um, a member to the optional protocols and uh, we know uh, exactly our obligations and uh, also uh, we are very committed to our uh, international obligations. Who wants to ask a question? Yes. Our Japanese colleagues are also welcome. <laughs> Our ladies journalists are also welcome to ask questions. And Kaldo is also welcome. Uh, Takashi Koyama, freelance. Uh, according to today's New York Times, it seems the uh, U.S. attack on your country is going to be rather extensive, using not only Tomahawk missiles, but bombers as well. Uh, what is uh, uh, going to be your response to that? Uh, sorry, can you... What, what will be your response if, if uh, the U.S. use uh, uh, bombers, not only uh, uh -huh. Tomahawk missiles? What will be uh, the, re the response to, from the Syrian government to, uh, to an American know, attack? You know, it is, uh, of course, uh, Syria... Uh, uh, I would say will never, uh, it is a peaceful country and we never have any uh, attack on other uh, countries, neighboring countries or other countries. And, uh, but at the same time, when we face uh, uh, such aggression, uh, you, you can't expect from our side to keep silent. Of course, we will, we will be involved, we will uh, reply, and we will uh, also uh, uh, defeat our people, uh, our uh, enemies, and uh, protect our people. Thank you. Next question. Madam.
Thank you. My name is Emily Wang from the Associated Press. You mentioned that the Syrian government does not have any chemical weapons. Um, in that sense, does the Syrian government have a view on to what extent, whether and to what extent, these chemical attacks took place and where these came from and uh, how it came to, uh, mm -hmm. into Syria? Thank you. You know, from 2012, uh, the uh, last month of 2012, uh, we, are, we sent uh, uh, two letters informing them, the United Nations, that we, uh, uh, we have an information about the, uh, these terrorist acts uh, uh, working on having uh, these chemical weapons. We sent also information about uh, uh, a place or uh, the, uh, on the uh, Turkey territories, uh, the, they, uh, they have uh, um, uh, a laboratory, they manufacturing uh, these materials inside ter uh, Turkey ter uh, territories. And we ask the, uh, the United Nations in order to follow uh, this uh, uh, information and not to give the support to these uh, terrorist groups in order not to use it against our people. It was very easy for them to bring it from, uh, from outside, from Turkey, you know, we have a border, and to bring it inside. Even these terrorist groups, they, can, they have the full support, the, the financial support from uh, Gulf countries, uh, unfortunately. So they can, they can uh, do such uh, uh, um, materials. I, I, I am not expert on uh, uh, the chemical weapons, I mean, uh, to differentiate between uh, gas sarin, gas sarin, or any other uh, materials. However, uh, we have this information and we send it. And I can say that they use also, from my, our experience, they use very basita. Uh, um, uh, simple uh, uh, materials, something like this, like from chlor, because they uh, also uh, control, put their hand on uh, uh, a lapor We have a chlor uh, laboratory uh, in Aleppo, and uh, they, uh, they use of this chlor, uh, for, uh, they misuse this chlor for uh, certain activities. And uh, this is, you know, even if it is simple, but it is, uh, uh, with the, the support of um, uh, 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 other countries, uh, they can do something. I don't know actually uh, from where they bring this, but it is easy if, because we have uh, these uh, uh, difficulties on the border with uh, Turkey, so it is easy uh, to, to bring this uh, uh, stuff from outside or to do it uh, like from this uh, the chlor and other materials. Yeah, please, Calvin. Thank you. Khaldun Azhari, Panorith News. Japan said it will uh, help uh, Syria with, it, mm -hmm. it will provide help, mm -hmm. humanitarian help mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Syrian people. Uh, so how do you expect mm -hmm. such help mm -hmm. to be received, mm -hmm. and just in case the United States launched yeah. attack, for example, with mm -hmm. a tactical nuclear weapons as mm -hmm. it was reportedly done in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say until now there are some people uh, mm -hmm. that have yeah. some uh, consequences by yes. that radiation. So if this happened in Syria, uh, or if they used mm -hmm. normal weapons, good weapons, mm -hmm. so how could the uh, uh, situation on the humanitarian uh, mm -hmm. uh, humanitarian level will be yeah. in such attack. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to say really that because now also Japan's uh, mentioned several times that they want to deal with the humanitarian consequences. What we want from uh, Japan's, uh, uh, from the government or from the NGOs, to deal with this uh, uh, situation in full coordination with our government. It is, as I mentioned, if you want to do uh, this, um, uh, this um, uh, to give the support, 
to uh, in coordination with the terrorist groups, you know it is like you are really again supporting uh, the terrorist group and, and empower them and to prolong uh, the, the situation of violence and hinder also having a, a political solution. As such, our people, affected population, will still suffer and will uh, keep um, uh, their situation as uh, also uh, similar to what they face right now. We are um, uh, very open, but in line with the uh, uh, GA resolution, General Assembly resolution, uh, uh, organizing how to uh, uh, offer the humanitarian assistance. Um, uh, for uh, this reason, I would really appreciate um, if uh, the, uh, the government and the NGOs of Japan, to, uh, to, uh, if they want to provide humanitarian assistance, to come to our mission, uh, embassy, as well as to coordinate uh, their uh, efforts with the United Nations and with the government of Syria in a legal manner and not in illegally. Otherwise, we can't... Uh, you know, we can't provide them uh, the protection. We can't also um, uh, uh, cooperate with them because they, uh, they want to deal this illegally. And, uh, and uh, with regard to uh, the humanitarian consequences, you have noticed from now, if you follow the, our news, because uh, the people uh, start to hear about uh, uh, such military actions it could happen, they start to, to run from uh, certain areas and uh, to stay in camps on something like this. Really, it is, uh, it is a very uh, uh, difficult situation. And now, uh, imagine if really uh, happened such uh, uh, military actions. This, the, uh, these peoples who are speaking about uh, their concern about uh, the humanitarian situation of our people should really consider the consequences, the humanitarian uh, consequences and aspects. Thank you. Madame Alabi, I, I know you have to go soon. Mm. I would like to ask you a last question. Your, your president is relatively uh, quiet these days. Why uh, your president is not launching an appeal to the outside world to, to try to find a, a, a peaceful solution to, to, the, uh, to your situation in Syria before the Americans start to use their, uh, their tactical uh, weapons, before it's mm -hmm. too late. Why your president is, is not launching such an appeal to tell to the outside world, world help, help us to, to avoid uh, uh, a dramatic outcome? And, and why uh, your your president is not also asking the outside world to, to investigate a little bit uh, more about the role played by Turkey, uh, as you mentioned, and uh, the chemical uh, factory on, on Turkish uh, soil. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I would say, really, even um, uh, our president doing uh, so many interviews with uh, several uh, um, uh, newspapers, even uh, l the last one it was with uh, Le Figaro, it is a French uh, uh, a newspaper, and uh, as well it is not only our president doing his best, because you know, it is uh, Syria uh, like, uh, we are uh, really uh, uh, working silent, <laughs> And uh, but doing the, the right things and also uh, pushing the international community to discover the truth. We are full confidence we are doing the right things and we are full confidence that the international community will notice uh, where is uh, the failure and uh, how should uh, follow. In addition to that, I want to say also our uh, prime minister, our foreign minister, our uh, deputy, and uh, all uh, doing their best. And the parliament also, uh, actually, they send a letter uh, also, uh, for example, this what I have. Uh, it is uh, clarifying the situation and, uh, uh, and also uh, re requesting uh, uh, the international community and also um, the the Congress, the the United States, who are uh, uh, want to do uh, such act. 
So I don't think, uh, we, but uh, at the same time, you know, we are full confidence. They have no evidence. We did nothing. This is why we feel like uh, we are in a very strong position. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Alabi, for coming today. I want to give you a one-year honorary membership card. Please come anytime to our press club, anytime you want to say something to us. And thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. She accepted my personal interviews. I'll make an appointment with her.